Alright, hi. So, let me see what time it is. It's 6.27 in the morning on August 9th. I only got about, like, four hours of sleep last night because I couldn't go to sleep. But, yeah, so I got up. And what something I did, which I think would help a lot of you, um, if you have trouble waking up in the morning like I do, um, what I did is I set an alarm for 6. And so I got up at 6, but then I allowed myself 10 minutes just to lay in bed and, like, watch TV. And that just kind of helped wake me up. It might not help everybody, but, you know, I kept my eyes open and just, I don't know, it gave me that time, like, oh, it's time to get up. But, I mean, I'm still tired, but it helped. So I just made myself a cup of coffee. I just have sugar in it with a cinnamon, um, what's that called? sweetener or whatever, I don't know, it's early in the morning, and then I just have, um, I'll show you what I'm doing for my outfit, I just have my jewelry laid out, my bib necklace, my bracelets, and then my earrings, I love these earrings, they're from Betsy Johnson, and then my outfit's over here, this is what my outfit looks like, my belt, and then my shoes are down there, and then my purse is over here. So I'm gonna get ready and then I'll talk to you guys later. What? Aaron, what up? I already got your face. Aaron, what up? Oh, I'm sorry, no. no you wanna photograph. you wanna talk to my viewers? You need to calm down. I'm hoping I get home I'll have three hundred subscribers. I had two hundred and ninety nine last night. Oh yeah. One of my videos has gotten up to twenty five thousand views. I was like, oh, on what? YouTube. Really? What's it called? Hi, so I figured I'd show you my outfit today. I'm home from school. It's why I kind of look disheveled. But my hair's not as curly as it was this morning. But I just, I didn't get to film anymore today except for a little bit on the bus. But I'm just going to show you my outfit. And I'm going to say in advance, I'm really sorry. Most of the, my outfit is from local boutiques. So I don't know where you can get them. Um, but yeah. I'll try to tell you the brands if I know them. So, the first thing I have is this crossbody purse. I think it's so cute. My dad calls it an Indian purse. But it's just brown, and then it's like faux leather, kind of. Not really. But then it's got the fringe. It's so pretty. And then the strap. And then you can take the strap off and just carry it as a clutch. But I like carrying it as, like, a crossbody. And then inside, all I have is, like, my keys. I don't know why I'm showing you what's inside my purse. My eyeglass case. I'm throwing everything on my bed. And then in this pocket, you can see this pocket, um, I have my contact solution, my eye drops, and then, I don't even think you can see this, and then my contact lens case. Um, just because if I need to take my contacts out at school, just for that reason. So, that's off. Alright, and then I'm going to show you. So, I love, love, love this dress. It is from the brand Mine. I know that. But I don't know, I can't tell you where I got it from because it's a local boutique, like I said. But it's just this navy, not navy, teal green, like army green dress with brown piping and gold buttons, if you can see. And it's got like the collar up here and then something I love to go with it. Um, I bought this necklace, my mom bought it for me at Belk, we're sharing it. It's so pretty, it's round and it looks so cool under there, that's what it actually looks like. But it looks so cool under there. And then um, I got this belt, it's like this brown braided belt, but it's actually elastic in the back. So it fits so many sizes, so that's what I really like about stuff like that. And then under the belt, if you can see the dress, it is elastic too. And I thought, that's so cute, so you can wear with a belt or without a belt. And it looks so polished and so neat. And then I have these bracelets. They are from the boutique as well. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry. Um, I actually saw these on Little Black Bag, though. So that's why I freaked out when I saw them. But they just remind me of, like, the Greek goddess headbands and stuff. There's just a pair, I mean, a thing of three gold bangles that came together. They're just so pretty and so chic and so cute. And then I'm wearing these shoes. They are by um, Lindsay Phillips. I'm sorry, I've worn these so much. But you can actually switch out what's on the top. So I'm just wearing the bronze ones today with this little charm on the top. And let me put the charm back on. These shoes are really awesome. I really like shoes like this. I'm a sucker for like, oh, look, you can change all this. And then if I can show you my earrings. These are by Betsy Johnson. They're just like gold, chand not chandeliers, but, you know, little dangly earrings. I really like them. And then, like I said, I just curled my hair today with my Conair Infinity Curling. 
Ooh, curling wand. And I would tell you my makeup, but I just have so much on, it's just going to be confusing. But if you would like a tutorial on this makeup look, please tell me, because it was really fun and really easy to do. So I really liked it. So that's my outfit for today, and stay tuned for me more. Hi, so I hope you can like some of the footage I got today. I didn't get a lot, really sorry. But it's just been really busy, hectic. I'm going to tell you how my day went and just kind of like a background. So, today I started 10th grade at my high school, which here's the thing. Our high school, like, everybody's at the high school, but if you're in 9th grade, you're in the academy, which is like a hallway. It's really dumb. I was only there for three out of my seven classes. So, technically, I was more of a high schooler than I was an academy year. But, anyway, you're still classified as academy, but now I'm a high schooler now. But, anyway, so, um, got that a lot today. So, my mom... I got up around 6 and something, and then, you know, I got ready and all that shiz. And then, um, my mom got me to school around 8, oh, not 8, oh, 10, 8, oh, 5, 8, 10 ish. And so, I went to the band room, and I dropped off my saxophone and my music, and, um, my jacket that my friend is borrowing. And, um, so then I went to first period. I got to go upstairs. So nerve-wracking. Not really, but, you know, that's where all the big kids hang out. But upstairs, and that's where I had my math class. And then after my math class, I had to go to horticulture. Now, I love our horticulture teacher at our school. She's really awesome, but I have no interest in it. And I didn't sign up for it. And so we had to sign a paper to get me switched into Spanish. So it should be fixed by Monday, but if not, I'm going to have to do something. Because I don't need to be in that class, and I don't need to miss any of Spanish, too. Because I sure do not know any Spanish. Um, just a little bit, you know, just like, hola, si, no, en quiero burrito de vejole en el quesadilla de pollo, por favor. <laughs> yeah, but you wonder what that means. Yeah, but, so I went to horticulture. I mean, it was really nice, but, you know, she's really nice, but I don't need to be in that class. So after horticulture, I went to my AP U.S. History class. Now, the teacher for my AP U.S. History class, he's supposed to be the hardest teacher at our school, and maybe I'm nerdy. I was so excited for that because my AP teacher last year, if you've seen my AP scores video, horrible teacher. I did not like him at all. Um, it was just a bad experience. He just wasn't motivated, and this teacher is really motivated. I'm really excited, and he does these extra, um, extra point things where you can watch a movie and then do a movie review and then turn it in. I was like, sign me up. I mean, I'll do all of those. He's like, you're going to need the extra credit in my class. I was like, okay, mister. But yeah, so... So that's the whole spiel about that. I'm really excited for AP U.S. History. I heard it's one of the hardest AP tests, though, so we'll see. But he said everybody in his class, um, the average was a three on the test. So I'm like, okay. But, you know, I'm striving for a five this year. My teacher had me last year striving for a three. See what that got me? A two. But I'm striving for a five. Um, and so me and my friends are talking about having study groups and stuff, but anyway. And then I got to be in the Wind Symphony this year, which if you're not in band, it's like the high band. Um, so I play oboe for concert band and saxophone for marching band. But I sat in the oboe section today. There's only two of us, though. But if we have a double reed section this year. We have two oboes and a bassoon. So we have our own section, but yeah. So... I'm playing with my bangles. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I was in there, and then our band teacher, he just told us basically stuff we already know, but um, he has to do that. It's formality and stuff. We're probably going to play on Monday. Yeah, and then he told us that, and so then we went to lunch, and I got to eat with my senior friends. Um, I have really good friends that are seniors, and so we ate lunch, and I was like, oh, I'm so glad I get to hang out with you guys, because in the academy last year, we just had to eat with the ninth graders, and it's so good being able to eat with, like, other people and see other people. So, yeah, I ate with them. And then I went to my fifth period, which is my English class. Oh my gosh, this teacher is so cool. I'm so excited for his class. He has like a stage in the middle of his room, and he's really in-depth with technology. I don't have a smartphone, but he's still making it where we can, you know, use other stuff. He's like, you know, I'm rapalicious, and of course he's a white teacher. It's just hilarious, and um, he has like a recording studio. He's like, we we're going to do fun projects and stuff like that, and he showed us some, and I'm like, I cannot wait for this class. You don't even know. So... His class seems like it's a whole lot of fun. He made my friend go up. He's like, hey, get up on the stage, rap about Doritos in Miami, Florida. And it was so funny. So, it was like, Doritos, Doritos, my favorite snack. And that's as far as it got, but it was so funny. So, we did that. And then I went to my photography class, and I was kind of disappointed because when I walked in, I didn't know hardly anybody. Like, I knew people, but I'm not really, 
like, I'm friends with them, but it's not like, you know, me and my close friends. But then, um, two of my better, not my better friends, just like two people I'm better friends with came in and then they sat with me. I thought I was going to have to sit by myself. I was like, Ooh. But then, um, my friend Fairman and Salvador came and sat with me, so I was like, good. So me and Salvador are going to be, um, photography partners. Um, I'm really excited for that class. Um, just, I think the teacher, I'm just going to have to get used to him. He just kind of sounded bland today, but I've heard that he, you just have to get a sense of humor and then he's better. So I had that class, and then I went to my chemistry class, and it was fun. I have a lot of my friends in that class. Um, I like having the older kids in our class, though. So, I mean, it's kind of weird because, you know, you're not used to that, but now it's just like, oh, yeah, it's just like, I'm in here with the big kids, the older kids. So, yeah, I'm in there with, like, some juniors and a senior, and it's just really cool, so... I really like that. And then I went back to the band room and got my instrument after the bell rang. And then I got on the bus and I came home. And it took longer for the buses today just because, you know, situators have to figure out where they have to go and some new kids have to figure out and just stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it was a really good day overall. That's my first day of sophomore year. <gasps> oh, and then I reached 300 subscribers today. I was so excited. I was like, this is the best day ever. So, yeah. But if you would like any more of this <laughs> <laughs> if you like any more school videos, please just comment down below and tell me, leave post me a video response whatever. I'm just so excited for school. Uh, I do have some more summer videos that will be coming up. Um, just because, I know for two for sure, just because I never got the chance to edit them, but I do want them to go up. And it's still August, it's still summer. Some of you, some of you don't go out of school until September, so you know what? Do your thing, girl. You go, Glen Coco. You go. So, anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Just leave me any video responses, comments, send me videos. I don't care. I love you guys. And friend request. And follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and my blog and YouTube and everything. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'd say I'm pre-med here at UGA. Live on Millage Avenue. I was raised over in Buckhead, I'd drive a BMW I was breaking hearts and taking names and numbers just for fun Stealing kisses, wishing I was 21